another episode of our podcast series, Startup to Scale, Founders Marketing Playbook. Brought to you by marketeers.com, where our mission is to connect skilled remote marketing talent with businesses globally. Yeah, sort of. So uh, your unique expertise spans across storytelling, personal branding, influencer marketing. How do these elements contribute to the successful digital marketing strategy, especially in today's fast paced online environment? So I think there's no successful digital marketing strategy as of now. They're all experiments, uh, mostly. So once you hit a mark or you get the desired result, you call it a successful strategy. So see, success for me is a very subjective word. I don't use it often. I always use the word called growth. So if you are using one strategy today and you got some results and then you improvise the strategy and do something better in terms of results, that's growth. True. Now you can name it success, stop there. Or you can say, okay, there is still a scope of improvement and let's do it better. Mm -hmm. So from past four years, all I'm trying to do is trying to figure out better and better experiments, right? And that's why more than influencer marketing, we have now come into community marketing, right? It's, it's working way better than just influencer marketing in terms of producing a ROI for a customer. And community-led growth has built products like Notion and Reddit itself. So we know how crazy they are. Yeah. Right. So I think everything is experimental and like I'm almost... Uh, done with marketing side also of the things. I don't want to do it anymore, but yes, more into um, kind of trying to figure out a new world wherein there can be a new connection between networks and communities to intermingle and nobody needs marketing actually, right? So let's say if you today launch a product and you, are, you have lived 40 years of life, don't you think you have 3000 contact numbers in your phone? Yeah. Right, okay. Why do you need to launch in a shopping mall with strangers when you know 3,000 people already who can use your product? All I'm trying to teach people is when somebody launches a product who is known to you, just try to use a sample piece. The yes. launch becomes successful. You have case studies, you have testimonials, you have feedback to improvise the product. You are done with a great launch. And it's free. Right. So, but sort of what about those products like could be like Gen Z or, or fashionable products where you know still a large part of the demographic of that audience uh, is looks up to you know uh, somebody who's fashionable and who's looked upon could be like Alia Bhatt or somebody endorsing it and oh my god mm. you know everyone is talking about it so I want to have it again because everyone is talking about it so the community aspect is here also but I think yeah. don't you feel for fashion brands and you know depends also depends on the product and the brand uh, this the still no, definitely there, there is there's always a differentiation right but I think today we have an opportunity with a mobile phone and internet that before you launch a product you have some six months in creating the product and all that thing in that period you can build your thousand people's audience at least right and yeah. I think the way SaaS products are nowadays building is a very simple philosophy they launch an MVP and they say okay we are going to give you a free access to 100 beta users mm -hmm. they build a community of these 100 people yeah. Now they start using the product and keep giving consistent feedback. Mm. So the entire product development roadmap is built on the customer's feedback. So that means actually I am the one who is helping you build your product. Mm. I am the user. I'm giving you feedback and later on you will charge me money also to use the same product that I help you build. Right. But it's a crazy strategy, right? True, true. And works. So if you are someone who's listening to me consistently and building a product on my suggestions, I'm going to fall in love with you exactly. And I'm going to talk about it. Ki bhai ye wale product ko, matlab, do use it. If you give them a feedback, they're going to give you a feature that you want. And you will propagate right. it also because you've sort of exactly. uh, lived that product. Yes. Right. Okay. You have lived that product. So that's how Notion has built themselves, right? There are so many Notion ambassadors who keep launching their own templates and Notion is actually selling their templates and they are making money, mm. right? So I think everybody today has an opportunity to build a small audience before you launch any app or a fashion product or anything. Just start talking about the journey of building that, that product. 
So for example, let's say this, this Sonipat guy, Ankit, right? Okay. Started, came into this daily physical workout thing that he does. And he came in a very desi manner. Mm-hmm. Today I have almost 7.5 million followers, right? Okay. Yeah. Now if today he launches, a, so just go to his page and you will see only one thing in every reel. I have exercise, lunch, I have the same workout, I have I have the same workout, 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 I have the the same workout, I have the same workout, I the same the who hmm. were into fitness and bodybuilding, right? Okay. I saw another 10 year old kid doing the same thing, have six pack abs and all. So definitely inspired a lot of people for consistency and fitness. But think of it, if he launches a health-based product today, it will do sell. you think this guy needs selling or anything else? Yeah, or a is. launch or a company to launch or a marketer like me? No, he doesn't need that. Correct. He will say, okay, I have created this product. This is a badam shake. Usko itna hai bolna hai. Basically, I don't know what 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 I don't I Bilkul. It's a big hit any day. And you'd keep involving that product consistently into your content. Selling kabhi ruke gai nahi. So idea is that that people want to do too many things together. Wo kate, product launch, website launch, sab ek saath kar denge. Mat karo. I still don't have a website of my own. Mm-hmm. Right? Because I know I am not a tech guy. I am a talking guy. So let me only talk. If I can do talking and sell and make good money, that's enough for me, True. right? Yeah. That day I have enough money to create a website, hire a CTO and then create a tech product, I'll do it. True. But I'm not in a hurry to do it. I want to do it today, I want to take all the money, and I want to take funding, I want to take all the funding. At the end, I'm a desi bania business owner who learned how to make money digitally. So my first focus was that I have 2 lakh rupees of house, first of all, I want to earn. Hmm. And then you go further, creating hmm. systems or passive income or digital products. So we are working on that now. Right. So launch is very easy, right? But sustaining, maintaining, then you really need a marketer who can then, you know, build on that launch. I think once your launch is successful, then comes the influencer marketing. And with this launch and influencer marketing, you can start building your community. Now, yeah. Community is driven by only one thing, value adding content. Correct. If you can do that, you are sorted for a lifetime. It's a slow journey, but it's exponentially growing. So it makes a lot of sense to do it. Yeah. This is uh, this is like the next concept, like a different concept of digital marketing or marketing altogether. So, you know, if typically people think I'll make a product and market it and sell it. It's not like that. I mean, you know, it goes way beyond. So the journey starts at minus one and then comes the product and then comes, you know, the community and genuinely sort of and then you do then you don't need any uh, a lot of marketing budget as such you're sort of it's a strategy in itself so so you know the company exactly. yeah it's a strategy in itself great so, so i'm i'm very glad that you know i had had no money when i started in 2019 right okay. and pandemic also came into picture so because yeah. we didn't have money we had to figure out these ways of doing marketing without money correct and now this has become a concept yeah yeah so it's about like consistently talking to the TG with the right, you know, research that goes into what you're saying, people should really see that there is a value, genuinity and a practicality where you're coming from. Yes. Yeah. So uh, beyond your personal achievements, your involvement in alternative education and mentoring is commendable. Could you share more about your initiatives at uh, the Golchi Club and how you uh, imp- you're empowering individuals on in non-conventional ways? So, uh, majorly Golchi Club was the community that we created for my coaching products and all. So, 2021, after just pandemic, I was like three, two years of home. I was I wanted to like break free. Okay, I to go So, I went to Mumbai, Pune, Hyderabad, Chennai. We did like back-to-back meetups for the community and people who knew me from LinkedIn. 
and i saw people wanted to meet each other but they they want like someone to connect them they want to meet but it's like okay you know aap ek city mein rehte ho na mostly you will not find out time because aap apne life mein busy ho samne wala kahin busy hai so they want kind of an event to happen and then okay we all will come there so mm. so i think that was one thing that i realized so even after pandemic we were the first one to start hosting events right a lot of events we did back to back like in 2022 and 21 totally we did almost 90 plus events hosted over 9000 people across india wow so this helped me understand that people want to meet they are happy to connect and collaborate but with they want an event that they can remember right yeah. so human mindset works in a very beautiful way they want a negatively or a positively happening event to meet each other so when i say negatively happening event they are happy to go to somebody's funeral but will not meet them before that yeah true so true so before that they'll keep saying oh i don't have time kya chahiye waise villa time nahi hai chai peene ka mere paas right okay mm-hmm. but uske funeral pe chale jayenge yes uski shaadi mein bhi chale jayenge bahut dur se aake hmm but bahut dur se usse waise hi chai peene nahi aayenge uske sath yes right but yeah. i know a guy who flew from faridabad to bangalore okay saying to a client okay maine chai peene aa raha hu shaam ko and then uh-huh. he flies from delhi to bangalore hmm comes back with a 5 crd right so that cup of tea a casual cup of tea can make you 5 crd right but that's what i think gen z is not understanding so mera idea is community ko create karne ka tha that once a month we will create an event where you all come and meet together hmm no profits nothing just pay for the coffee and and bread nothing else right okay that was the only thing we charged um so unconventional ways i i loved saying it unconventional because nowadays it has become conventional okay so i saw a report in 2021 where it said like almost 74% women leave their jobs because of lack of flexibility in the corporate career right and it is very much understandable right why they need flexibility kids are growing their teenagers parents are growing old they need help at home obviously right okay mm-hmm. now no matter what we say we still have a woman who has a heart to say okay i'm going to take care of this a man will not right okay so i'm not talking about inequality here i'm talking about a basic heart of a woman that says okay this is my family i need to take care of this and i will drop my career to first take care of this and see if i can make my career i picked up almost 40 women like that within past two and a half three years i said you already have skills right okay you have worked 10 15 years in the corporate your salary was anywhere between 20 lakhs to even 1 and 1/2 crores right so you are not aap apaij nahi ho hmm i just had to bring one thing out of their mind because hamare yahan pe ek aur cheez sikhai jati hai that i am so and so with so and so company is my identity hmm i am a vp with so and so company that's a identity creation that happens in the corporate world Hmm. and as soon as you leave that behind you feel like a abla nari like oh suddenly somebody stole my identity hmm. right hmm. and now they feel bad even saying themselves a mother or a housewife i'm like nothing bad about it it's a yeah. part of our life hmm. right hmm. i'm also a human being i work from home from past 9 years proudly coming from a banya business class family where people used to say working from home means nakara nikamma insaan but they understood during pandemic that okay this guy sitting at home still makes money and we are not making money because our shops are shut down hmm right so i said okay you give 4 5 hours a day whatever skill you are using in your corporate career you can find clients via linkedin and you make money 2021 one of those women made 90 lakh rupees wow right another one who was earning only 10000 writing edtech content started making 80000 per month within next 4 months giving only 4 hours a day because she has a toddler right and recently she had so many problems like medical issues in the family from mother in law side also her mother also and then she messaged me again she said sorry i never had any clue that this is going to happen but my flexibility helped me take care of both the mothers 
right okay celebrate my kids birthday my birthday have enough money in pocket that i could pay the medical side of things also and still buy a diamond ring for my mother a macbook for myself and do everything i wanted to so i think those 30 40 case studies are the biggest ones in may there were some case studies where they get going through divorces have enough expenses for lawyers and all and believe you may have seen them brave with a lot of money like because they had a financial backup, they were really tension free. Ke bhai chalo, I can hire best of the lawyer for myself. Mm -hmm. Right. And they're not dependent now. So I think sitting at home is not a problem. But what you do with that four or five hours of time, having internet and laptop access and having a skill set, if you're not doing anything about it is a problem. Right. Now, what difference I made was a very simple difference. If you go to any, any side of things that teaches you this, okay, whether it is a ICF certification of coaching or Mind Valley coaching or anything, they charge you minimum seven to eight thousand dollars. That's somebody sitting in India like you and me will never pay easily. Yeah. What I did, I kept a very simple fee for this, anywhere between 30,000 to 60,000. And I'm not going to upsell you anything after this, right? I have projects, you work with me. Hmm. So from my company Success Proof, we have distributed 70% of the revenues to these freelancers. So we keep only 30%. So I have no full-time employees. I have only freelancers working on our projects. Hmm. And they are our partners. They are not people just ko main ki main client se do lakh le but aapko sirf de no. If I'm charging my client 2 lakhs, I pay them 1 lakh plus yeah. for every project. Right. I think that's how we could expand our network, create this alternative source of income for these 30, 40 women. I will not say my impact is huge on lakhs of women or men, but I would say it's much deeper to build this relationship. I'll tell you what, what depth happened in that area. So this June, I got married. 22 of them flew from across India, spending their 25, 30,000 rupees to be at my wedding for four days. Wow. My cousins who live in the same city were not there four days. These people were there. Right? And some of them who could not come had said lavish gifts for myself. Like, they knew what I would love to have. Hmm. Right? So, so the relationship we have today is more of a brother-sister relationship. We are a big family now across India. Right? It is not physically seen anywhere but if i tell them okay i'm coming to mumbai and there's an event all 20 of you fly there hmm. they'll be like no questions asked they'll come they know that if they're going to pay 25,000 rupees then they'll give you 2-3 lakhs they know it well right so i think now it is a next level for them also to be connected with us so i think now it is a next level for them also to become teachers or, or maybe train so my mission was very simple I cannot impact 10 lakh women or men or anything like that. But if I can impact 100 people deeply and train them how to impact another 100, I reach 10,000 mark. Right? And this is a wave that will never stop. Right? And this is my community, actually. So a lot of people think it's a community of startups or business owners. Okay, that's okay. Everything is good, right? But at the end, my community is a community of impact where we teach, where we do impact and then teach how to create more impact. And I want to see a day where somebody says, okay, you know what? I am part of this community and you should join that community and he should not know me, who I am. Right? And I have seen that day already once. So somebody walked up to me and was oh, I know a beautiful community should be part of it. I'm like, okay, which one is that? And he said, success. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> Wow. And, you know, I, I said, okay, send me the link. I'll join the community. <laughs> the guy came back to me after three months and said, oh, you started this community. Sorry, I was making you join the I said, like, I'm, I'm the most happy person to listen to that thought. Ki, okay, I should join that community if you are talking about it. So uh, next, I have, uh, I'm now being part of Women Innovator. Again, a community of women entrepreneurs from tier two, tier three cities. So I think tier one has enough. Like women are educated also. Now they have a freedom to go out also. A lot of things are happening anyway. Mm -hmm. And if I personally feel like it's again a personal bias, I think in tier one cities, if a woman is not doing something, it's personal choice. Nobody's actually stopping them. True. Right. So 
okay the culture has evolved a lot apart from maybe you say 20 30% of families that are still very traditional yeah. but nobody stops you exactly if you can take charge of yourself thoda bahut fight to karna padta hai but now with women innovator we are pushing tier 2 women tier 3 women giving them all the tech support education support um i think that's where we have big names like big very nice brands in hand who are ready to support the mission with their csr funds and all so getting onto a new journey thinking that okay we can now pick up a tier three woman who is just says okay mujhe na khali idli banani aati hai so kya uski idli world famous ho sakti hai <laughs> i'm thinking on that direction of depth that okay if there is a idli like i am so impressed with this business called khichdi express the girl does 20 flavors of khichdi the business turnover is 50 crores wow it's khichdi <laughs> yeah right mm-hmm. now taking benefit of something healthy and you making it tasty very simple thing right mm-hmm. right but 50 crores man who thinks like that i want to bring those case studies out now like okay bhai ho sakta hai a mm-hmm. idli can be 50 crore business a rameshwaram cafe in bangalore can be a 5 crore turnover a small cafe mm-hmm. with a with a least price on the on the charts still can make 5 crore so husband wife open the cafe so mm-hmm. like i am more of a business person who want to make business very very simple and tell ki okay aap naukri mein 1 lakh kamate ho aapke paas flexibility nahi hai but aap ek business karoge aapko thodi zyada mehnat karni padegi but jo raat ko neend aayegi na वो अलग लेवल सुकून होगा एक एंड mm-hmm. आपको मंडे को ये सोच के नहीं उठना कि आज बॉस का रिव्यू देना है आप मंडे को ये सोच के उठोगे कि आज मुझे दोबारा दुकान खोलनी है बिजनेस खोलना है एंड आई सर्व समवन विद अ बेटर इंटेंशन एंड आई हैव अ कस्टमर अगेन हु जिसका प्रॉब्लम मैं सॉल्व करूंगा कॉर्पोरेट mm-hmm. में भी हो सकता है बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली द कल्चर इज नॉट लाइक दैट आई हैव मेड अ लॉट ऑफ कॉर्पोरेट पीपल एट द एंड दे आर हैप्पी विद द सैलरीज दे गेट बट फ्राइडे नाइट दे दे टॉक लाइक दिस ऑन अ Beer bad, like okay. My life is hell. Like okay, if it is really hell, why don't you come out of it? Hmm. True. So this is all about me, and I think um, any any other questions I'll happy to answer. Yeah. So we'll we'll just have one last question, which sort of talks about the whole journey and you know summarizes your whole experience. So your experiences range from advertising on business strategy to growth hacking. Can you share a memorable success story where your expertise made a significant impact on company's growth journey, like a company? Um. So we majorly worked with zero to one kind of a thing. So uh, I would say recently we had an example with one of our, our brands called Mindsmith. I'm one of the board of advisors on the company. So this is not where I consult for money, but I, the founder is a very good friend, and she brought in some top ten psychiatrists of the country on board. I don't know how she got that, um, but getting psychiatrists to do a business is a very different task altogether. so uh, they were they got stuck at a point where and you know um, okay there is no money coming in kind of a thing and two three months back and rather than thinking of how to make money we figured out from whom to make money right so when you think of any business like that if you are sitting on the top of the food chain it is not only the end consumer who is the consumer anybody who is between the entire chain can be a consumer also so i said okay if you are the top psychiatrist in the country other psychiatrists will buy from you yeah or maybe a psychologist will buy from you and then we create the program for them and it was like i think within 3 days we sold for some 7 lakh rupees wow so 7 lakh is a nice oxygen for a business that is not making money someday right okay and then um that that was a big hit and and that also broke a mindset from their side that doctors will not pay doctors paid good money to be part of a bigger doctors network only nothing else mm. like see if i am a marketer if if a bigger marketer like let's say um chris do or ryan holiday invites me to their network and it's paid i'll pay it not a problem at all right because mm. i know i'm going to learn something better and my marketing game will go up right so i think more than strategy sometimes you need to understand the internal network of our own thing now see all these doctors network were the inside the business only right they were part of the directors phone books hmm. unexplored kisi ne kuch unko offer hi nahi kiya kabhi so it was more about offering a right product to right set of people so that they can actually buy from you 
सो आई आई थिंक मोर देन मार्केटिंग स्ट्रेटेजी हेल्प्स फर्स्ट मार्केटिंग तो हमें करना ही सी मार्केटिंग एट द एंड ऑफ द डे इज अ कॉपीराइट ऑफ व्हाट इज द ऑफर मार्केटिंग इज बट वो आप किसको दिखा रहे हो दैट मेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंस इन योर बिजनेसेस लाइफ आई थिंक दिस इज अ रीसेंट बिग केस स्टडी ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग ट्रू आप क्या कर रहे हो क्यों कर रहे हो किसके लिए कर रहे हो लाइक द बेसिक क्वेश्चंस शुड बी सॉर्टेड तो ही देन यू कैन देन यू टॉक अबाउट डिजिटल मार्केटिंग और देन यू इवन थिंक अबाउट अबाउट पुटिंग मनी देयर अदरवाइज व्हाट्स द कोर ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट व्हाट आर यू ट्राइंग टू सेल इट वाज सच एन आई ओपनर सॉर्ट ऑफ टॉकिंग टू यू टुडे थैंक यू सो मच फॉर टेकिंग आउट टाइम फॉर यू नो सच अ लेंदी डिस्कशन वी टच्ड अपॉन सो मेनी एस्पेक्ट्स एंड आई एम पर्सनली सो पम्प्ड अप यू नो टॉकिंग टू यू एंड आई एम डेफिनेटली जॉइनिंग योर कम्युनिटी बिकॉज़ आई फील इट्स इट्स गोना सो देयर इज नो एज फॉर लर्निंग there's no age for self development though no age limit so i would also like to have a broader perspective talk to more people these kind of stories are in, inspirational like an inspiration for everybody so you know i'm sure you must be having people across all age groups in your community uh, you know who yes, may yes, be small big problems yeah and we'd love to host you one more time you'll have to give us time for for you know another perfectly all time action. any time Yes, yeah. Thank you so much, Sora, for joining us today. Thank you, thank you so yeah. much. Thank you so much, all the listeners, for listening to to us. And very soon, we'll be back with one more episode with another founder and talking about much deeper aspects of community building, products, marketing, and anything and everything that goes, uh, you know, for a startup for, from taking it to to zero from zero to one. Thank you. So much.